Hello, my name is George Hune. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize a portfolio of projects using the OPSI Optimizer. The first thing I want to do is define exactly what optimization is in regards to portfolio optimization. So let's take a look at a portfolio form. In an OPSI portfolio, each project has an associated value score that is calculated based on the attributes associated with that particular project and the attribute ranks or weights as defined in the decision model. So, when you're selecting your projects, you want to pick a set of projects that delivers the highest value to your company based on the capital and resources you invest. Thus, you want to maximize the sum value of the portfolio of projects that you pick, and that sum value is displayed at the bottom of the value column. If you did all the projects in this portfolio, for example, then the value score of this portfolio would be 1,156. The cost would be $126.7 million, the average probability of success would be 55%, and so on. But if I manually pick the top 10 projects, it would deliver 464 units of value and cost $48.4 million. But of course, just picking the top projects until you run out of capital is a poor way of picking projects because you won't be controlling or maximizing the return from other resources or controlling things like overall portfolio risk and timing. This portfolio contains 32 projects, which means that there are over 4 billion possible subsets of projects which you could choose. Therefore, it is overwhelmingly likely that there is a different set of projects that will give you a much greater return on your investments of capital, resources, and time, while allowing you to control portfolio risk. It's worth pointing out here that the number of possible subsets rises exponentially as the number of projects grows. So, for example, a 40-project portfolio has over 1 trillion possible subsets of projects from which to choose from. So, Trying to find an optimal portfolio manually using spreadsheets for even a moderately sized portfolio is virtually impossible. So let's get started. First, we click on the Optimizer button at the top of the portfolio form. Since this portfolio has never been optimized before, the Optimizer form opens directly. The first thing we're going to do is name the optimization Initial Conditions. The optimizer suggests a set of parameters based on the projects in the portfolio, and you can modify them, but we're going to use the ones that are suggested. How to modify them and so forth is covered in the HTML help file that you can access by clicking on the yellow help button at the bottom of the form. We're going to optimize to overall value, which means we're going to maximize the overall value for the portfolio that's selected, but you can optimize to other attributes if you want. The OPSI Optimizer lets you essentially dial in your constraints and then does the work for you to find an optimal portfolio, and it's really easy to use. A constraint is a limit that we don't want our portfolio to either exceed or be less than. So let's see how that works. We're going to enter our constraints using the list box and the controls at the bottom. So first we're going to limit the amount of capital that we can spend to not more than 750 which represents $75 million. Next, we're going to set the maximum number of resources to not greater than 90. For simplicity's sake, we're only using one resource type, but you can use multiple resource types such as project managers, engineers, developers, whatever resource types you want, because project portfolios can often be constrained by individual resource types. Next, we're going to set the minimum risk that we'll accept for our overall portfolio. So, for probability of success, we want the mean probability of success to be not less than 60%. In other words, the average probability of success for the project selected will not be less than 60%. Finally, we're going to set the average time frame that we want for our projects at 12 months. So we're going to select a time to launch and then set the constraint as mean not greater than 12 months. By the way, you can see that the capability of optimizing using mean constraint values is something that is very useful and it's also unique to OPSI. You can also set project dependencies so that the projects are selected or not selected based on other projects, but we'll discuss how to do that in another video. And that's it. All we do now is click Optimize and let the optimizer do the work for us. 
As it's running, it displays its progress so you can see the current trends for maximum, mean, and minimum portfolio values. At the end of the optimization, the optimizer runs a simulation on the entire portfolio so you can see the value distribution for the entire optimized portfolio. We'll talk more about that in another video. Once the optimization is complete, the results are displayed in the optimizer results form. In the interest of time, we shortened the video so that the whole optimization progress was not displayed. The total time for the optimization was under 5 minutes. This optimal portfolio achieved a value score of 708.7. .7. So how did we do relative to our constraints? Well, for this portfolio, we can spend 74 million of our 75 million dollars, we can use 84 of our 90 employees, and the average probability of success is 60% and the average time to launch is 11.89 months. At the bottom of the form we can see the set optimization parameters as well as the actual achieved optimization parameters and a small chart showing the progress of the optimization as it proceeded. Now if we close this form we can see that it is saved in a list form that displays all of the optimizations associated with this portfolio and we can expand it using the toggle button to see the optimization parameters that we used in each saved optimization. So now if we go back to the portfolio form we can see which projects were selected for this optimization. A check mark means that the project was selected and an X means that the project was not. If we look at the subset of projects that was selected we can see how the overall value and the attribute values correspond to those in the optimizer. For example, the optimizer showed the selected portfolio had a value of 708.7 .7, and we can see that value at the bottom of the value column. And for cost, you can see that the optimizer showed a selected portfolio would cost 740 and we can see that number at the bottom of the cost column. The purpose of this video was to show you the basic steps to doing your first optimization, but this is only the beginning. In other videos, you can see how to force projects in and out of the optimizer, optimize using project dependencies as constraints, compare optimized portfolios, and select the optimized portfolio that's right for you. Opsi makes it easy for you to prioritize, optimize, and select the best set of projects for your business, and you can try it for yourself for free. Simply sign up for our free trial and you'll see how easy it is. Thanks for watching.